and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a glitch transition. We're going to use the wave warp for that. Obviously you can create many different glitch transitions but there's one way. I've got two simple clips right here and we want to put the transition right there in the middle. Let us right click on our project menu, new item and adjustment layer. By default it has the same size as our sequence but you can adjust it right here with height and width. I click on OK and now I drag and drop it on top, so video channel 2 in this case. And I want to make it quite small, so let me reposition that and I size it down. You want to have only like a split second, though we can adjust that later on anyway. Now let us go to the effects panel and type in wave warp and then drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. And here it is in effect controls. If you can't see that menu, go to window and open it by clicking on effect controls. And here you'll also find the effects menu if you can't see that either. So our adjustment layer is activated. Therefore, I can see the wave warp right here in effect controls and I can adjust it. Let us adjust the direction first. For the wave type, we've got lots of defaults. We want to use noise in this case. And then play around with the height and width. And you can also play around with the wave speed. But best way to evaluate how much you need of that is to just roll the clip and then play around with it. So as long as it's static, you don't see that much. There's another drop down for pinning. For noise, it makes a difference. You can see that, but it becomes more obvious if I use a different wave type. Let me use a sign. And now you see these black areas. By using the pinning all edges, you can get rid of that. For noise, we don't need it, so I'll just keep it. Keep the anti-aliasing low as long as you adjust it. And when you export it and you need a higher quality, just switch it to high before you export it. But this is basically it. We can now roll the clip and you can see it gives us a glitch for a split second where the transition is happening. Additionally, you might want to use the opacity. So it's the opacity of the adjustment layer and then use the drop down for the blending mode. They all add a different flavor to it, but screen in this example works well because we can see the two clips below better. And once you've got what you want, you may want to return to the wave warp and readjust height with the direction and maybe even the speed. And you can always shorten this adjustment layer, therefore the transition will be shortened in duration. It works best when you've got a very short transition, so only like a handful of frames. And that's exactly what we wanted, a simple wave warp glitch transition in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.